A lot of people like to visit the beach when they're on holiday. So to find out about holidays and travelling, English Bites visited the beach. Today we'll talk to a range of people about where they went on their summer holidays, what they did and how they got there. To begin with, let's meet Peter and Audrey. They're from Dorset in England. Listen to how they describe their trip to Australia. We began in New Zealand, spent 10 days there, um, did the whole, both islands, the north and the south, and we loved the South Island best. Then we came across to Melbourne and spent some time driving around and also visiting the, um, the whole, whole of the city. Do you want to carry on? And from uh, Melbourne, we then um, took a car and drove all the way along the Great South Road, the coastal road, through all the pretty little towns and villages on the way until we finally got to Adelaide here. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't too kind at times, but nonetheless, it was a marvellous trip. Yeah. Peter and Audrey began in New Zealand. They used the simple past tense to describe their holiday. They did both islands, then they came across to Melbourne. Notice how Peter and Audrey order their story. They tell us where their trip began. They use the word then to help order things in time. They began in New Zealand and then they came across to Melbourne. They describe their movements by using phrases like, we did both islands, we came across to Melbourne, then we went up to Cleveland. Now let's meet Simon. He's also from England and visiting Australia. How has Simon been travelling so far? We left on the uh, 1st February um, and we flew out from Heathrow and we had two days in Singapore, uh, which was quite good. It was really hot though. Then we flew out into uh, Adelaide, but we had a little stop in Darwin just to refuel, refuel the plane. Simon flew from Heathrow. Then he flew into Adelaide. To fly means to travel in a plane. Flu is the past tense of fly. They flew from Heathrow. There are many other travel words we can learn. People might travel by plane, train, tram or bus, or maybe even bicycle. Of course, there are lots of other important travel words. When you're travelling, you need to carry your luggage or baggage. You need to travel to the airport, then check in, then board an aeroplane. Then you need to find somewhere to stay. Where has Simon been staying? We've been staying down in a hostel just down the road and we stayed two nights in a hotel as well. He's been staying in a hostel and he stayed two nights in a hotel. A hostel is a large house where people can stay cheaply. We often talk about a youth hostel where young people can stay for a small amount of money. In a hostel you usually pay for a bed in a shared room. And a hotel is a place where you pay to have a room to sleep in. A hotel is usually more expensive and offers more privacy than a hostel. These are different forms of accommodation. Accommodation refers to a place to live or stay. Let's listen to Simon talk some more about his holiday. We got burnt actually a couple of days ago because we didn't put any suntan cream on and we got really quite burnt. Um, but yeah, it's been really nice. He got burnt a couple of days ago. Burnt means damaged by fire. Here, burnt refers to being sunburnt. The adjective sunburnt describes the condition of skin that is sore and red after spending too much time in the sun. The noun is sunburn. When your skin becomes brown from exposure to the sun, we say you have a suntan or a tan. You are suntanned. Simon says that he didn't have any suntan cream on. Suntan cream is a substance you put on the skin to stop it from being burnt by the sun. Now, let's hear what Meg has been doing on her holiday. We've been here, we were in Melbourne last week for the bad weather, and we're here for two weeks, and then we go from here to Christchurch, New Zealand. And we've been hoping to lay out a little bit, but we had the bad weather in Melbourne, so then we came here, and it's cloudy, and I'm cold, so I have my towel on. Um, but my husband's here for golf, so we're doing that too, but, you know, just shopping and walking around and sightseeing and going to the beach. Meg isn't happy about the weather. It's too cold. What was she hoping to do on her holiday? We've been hoping to lay out a little bit, but we had the bad weather in Melbourne. Meg says that she was hoping to lay out a bit. 
She means that they were hoping to lie in the sun to get a suntan. In Australia, we call this sun tanning or sun baking. What else has Meg been doing? So then we came here and it's cloudy and I'm cold, so I have my towel on. Um, but my husband's here for golf, so we're doing that too. But, you know, just shopping and walking around and sightseeing and going to the beach. She's been shopping, walking around, sightseeing and going to the beach. Sightseeing means visiting interesting places, especially when you're on holiday. We say that you go sightseeing. A person who goes sightseeing is called a sightseer. Now let's listen to Emma talk about her holiday. The last holiday was actually just two weekends ago. Um, Sarah and I went down to Port Lincoln in the, on the York Peninsula and we drove there at seven or took us eight hours to drive there. Um, we did a lot of sightseeing, sitting on the beach and swimming and eating and yeah, it was a really good time. Yeah. Emma uses a lot of the words and phrases we've already looked at. Her last trip was two weekends ago. She uses phrases like, went down to, to describe her travel movements. She did a lot of sightseeing, sitting on the beach and swimming and eating. Sounds like a great holiday. And that's all for English Bites today. You can find more holiday words and phrases on our website. Thank <laughs> you.